Hey, so if you checked out my last video, you saw that I did an unboxing and review of the TurboGrafx Mini. Now, when I did this, I knew nothing about the TurboGrafx, I didn't have one growing up, and I loved it. I mean, it quickly has become, like, one of my favorite of these mini consoles that are coming out. But uh, after I learned a little bit more, mostly in the comments, thanks to you guys, um, this thing has, I think, jumped up to my favorite mini console. So uh, today, we're going to talk about the fact that this thing has a whole lot of unlockable games on it. Also, quick side note before I jump into this. Uh, someone pointed this out in the comments. I do think it's weird because I did look it up. And if you look at my mini console, the Turbo Graphics logo is upside down um that's weird because it doesn't look like a sticker so uh i don't know man i got that rare upside down variant i guess <laughs> so <laughs> there are some really cool unlockables in here the first place we're gonna go is the regular turbo graphics 16 side and we're gonna check out soldier blade now this is a game i didn't check out so let me just show you what it's all about real quick so, Soldier Blade is another shooter. Uh, pretty awesome, actually. Um, after finding out this stuff, I got to play it a little bit. And it is neat. Really good uh, vertical shooter. Really cool power-up system. And as you can see here, pretty generally just awesome. So what do you unlock here? So on the main menu, if you hover over Soldier Blade, hold the select button and press 1. It'll start it like normal. Except for, instead of Soldier Blade, this screen pops up and you get the special mission car <laughs> Caravan Stage. Um, just for the sake of checking it out, I'll just show you. Easy, I guess. But basically, it's like a secret stage where you're, you're basically fully powered up with the machine gun power and you are just blowing through this crazy caravan. Uh, all sorts of enemies, all sorts of power-ups. Um, it's just a neat thing, a cool little addition. Now the rest of the unlockables I'm going to show you are on the PC Engine side. So let's go ahead and jump over there. So the next three I'm going to show you are actually, they call them near arcade versions. Um, so the first one is Fantasy Zone. So when you usually start Fantasy Zone, it looks, well, something like this. But just like the last one, if you hover over Fantasy Zone, hold Select, and press the 1 button, you get what they call the near arcade version. Now the sound's a little bit better, and uh, well, just tell for yourself. Personally, I think this song is much better. So the next near arcade version is gonna be Gradius. Now just for the sake of showing the comparison, here's the regular Gradius for when you just start the game up and play it. Now once again, Hold select, press the run button, and you get what they call the near arcade version. Once again, a little bit improved visuals, definitely improved sound, and definitely improved music. I think these arcade versions are probably the way to go if you want to play the, uh, the three games that have the arcade versions. Speaking of which, let's talk about the last, and in my opinion, best one. The last one is Salamander, or Life Force, whatever you want to call it. And once again, just for comparison, here is the original first stage with the first stage music and uh, graphics and everything, sound effects. I mean, not bad by any means. Pretty cool. But once again, holding select, press 1, and you get the near arcade version. I like how it even has like the arcade boot up screen. I think that's pretty cool little detail. But anyway, this one is way different. They have like kind of, you heard that just then, kind of like the weird uh, kind of sound effect um, vocal type thing, you know, where they're kind of trying to talk. Uh, a little bit of language there. But the cool thing is with this version is um, in most of these shooter games for home console, when you die, you go back to a checkpoint or you go back to like the beginning of the stage. In this version, it's just like the arcade where when you die, you pick up exactly where you left off. Which to me, kind of is the better way to play as far as enjoyment. See, right there. Right, right where I died. Um, that being said though, this is not the only secret that Salamander has to offer. 
So if you hover over Salamander, there's actually two entirely, completely new secret games. So for the first one, you're gonna press the select button twice and then run. So listen to the little chime you hear. That boom! That was me pressing select twice, then run. Doing that unlocks Force Gear, which I had never heard of this game before, but holy crap does it look friggin' stunning. I mean, look how you start out with like this mobile suit, and you got like these cool ships, fighting this huge robot over, I can presume, Earth or some Earth-like planet. Then you are you can switch back and forth, like you switch into this plane mode. And the cool thing is, is for the first bit of the level, you actually have these guys with you until they get shot down. And uh, man, I'm telling you, this is one of the coolest unlockables that I have seen like to date in one of these mini consoles. Last but not least, go back over to Salamander and this time press select three times and press run. You'll hear the chime twice, so just listen. So you heard it twice there, that's me pressing select three times. Press run and you unlock the final secret game of the console. So the final unlockable game is actually Twin B. <laughs> if you're a Twin B fan, good on ya. <laughs> Uh, I'm not the biggest Twin B fan. I've actually played this before on other consoles, including uh, the Switch. I believe it's on the um, what do you call it? The uh, the the NES mode. But uh, still, very cool they included these. So by my count, the pack the pack comes with 57 games. Then you have the secret stage, bringing you to 58. Then you have the three more arcade versions. So that brings you up to what 61, and then two new entire games. 63? There's 63 games in this thing. This is, uh, well, I think one of the best bangs for your buck you can get on the mini consoles. And if you've never played a Turbo Graphics like me, this is definitely, like, just solidifies that, you know, you definitely need to check this guy out. So this thing is like the gift that keeps on giving. Freaking starts out with 57 games, and then you get all these arcade versions, plus the secret bonus games and the secret bonus level stuff. I mean, it's insane. Um, you really got your money's worth with the Turbo Graphics. Like I said in the last video, I still highly recommend this thing. I think if you have any interest in Turbo Graphics games, you should jump into one of these guys. But hey, what do you guys think? Throw it in the comments down below. That's going to do it for us uh, today, guys. Thanks again for stopping in. Subscribe if you haven't. Like, dislike if you feel any kind of way. Um, fill in some comments about some of these crazy unlockable games. Uh, you know, tell me how you feel about it. Did you get one of these? Have you played these secret games? And, uh, you know, other than that, as always, take it easy.